I rushed back to my clinic, got a blood pressure machine. As I was about four kilometers to the home, she SMS and asked me whether I could get an ambulance. And I was too close to home, their home. There was a traffic jam. They drove right to the home. At the gate, I met some attendants who rushed me in. I met the son at the door who rushed me straight to where he was. He was seated actually. I, he greeted me and said, oh, you have come. Then I said to take the blood pressure. It was not recording. At that time, he slipped off from his sitting position. And we carried him to the car. He went into a car and the wife and my driver, we followed. They were ahead of us, about 200 meters. They reached about 10 minutes earlier than us. From the information, he had what we call a collapse. He was resuscitated back by the son who is a medical doctor. And then 100 meters to the casualty of the Nairobi hostel, he collapsed again, was rushed to casualty. There was resuscitation, he took quite a bit of time, but they were not able to revive him. That was a short message. What I know is that, I must say, he was waiting for me because he had told me some things about his life and his final days. And that has been fulfilled, and I shall continue doing so. Maybe what?